What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Watching Paint Dry here on Another Letdown Media. My name is Zach from the This Is Difficult podcast. Yes, I can say that now. I'll talk about that in a minute. And Another Letdown Media. I'll be your host this evening. I'm hanging out all by my onesies. Uh, Brody had to do some last minute remodeling today uh, at home. So uh, so he's he's taking the night off. And uh, I'm going to, uh, just to kind of spice things up, I'm going to dive headfirst into some Riddler uh, jerks um, for Batman Gotham City Chronicles. Uh, I have a couple of different ideas. I have no idea if they're going to pan out. They might end up looking horrifically like Frank Gorshin characters from the 1960s show. And I'm okay with that. So, uh, as with all the shows that we host here on the Another Letdown Media channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone, and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. There it is. I almost forgot the finger point. All right. So, it's just me. So, here we go. So, I've got these, these, uh, these Riddler jerks with guns. I've also got some Riddler jerks with batons. And what I thought I might do here is do uh, some of them with like a dark green sweater with the uh, with a dark purple question mark. But I also had the idea of doing a, a dark green sweater with a black question mark and then reversing the color scheme for the other one. So like, obviously purple is like a very Joker color. I'm not gonna use that. Uh, I am definitely gonna use a black sweater with a green question mark at some point tonight. Um, but I'm, I'm debating whether or not to put the purple question mark on. So I'm actually, uh, before we get diving in too, too hard here. Hi, Chamali. How's it going? Um, would help if I spelled thugs correctly. Um, so I'm looking at them from Arkham Asylum, the video game, and they just look like regular street thugs. Um... It looks like most of them seem to have, like Riddler himself has the black uh, question marks on his jacket. And it, I'm, I'm looking at the Gotham City Chronicles minis that I'm seeing in this image search are showing very, very much the the black on green or green on black. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'll go, I'll, I'll do the guns with the green sweaters and a black question mark and the, the batons with a black, what did I just say? Whatever the opposite of what I just said was. I'm having a night. So I've got Caliban green. Uh, let me see what else I have. I, I think I have at least one other green base coat. I hope I do. Wait, I really need to like, make a sliding tray for this giant thing. Okay. It's a mess. Um, I have raw flesh. So the question is, which of these two is going to make a better, a better base for, for a uh, pretty dark or pretty bright, but like not obnoxious green. Um, so I'm just going to dive in on the paint app here. Let's see what we come up with. So if I want to go for an emerald green, which I think I do, I'm going to use Waw Flesh, Null and Oil, Warp Stone Glow, and Moot Green. Okay, so we're going to go with the Waw Flesh on the, on the green here. Um, sorry, Caliban Green, but you're sitting this one out. Hopefully this paint is still good. I haven't used it in a very long time. Oh yeah. Oh, this is very good. Very good. Okay, so we'll start with the green on everybody. Um, so the guys with guns are gonna get a, a black sweater with a green question mark. The guys with uh, batons are gonna get a green sweater with a black question mark. Uh, and that'll just help us delineate which ones are which. when push comes to shove. So how's everybody doing? We got the Mega Man Battle Network music going. I'm gonna have, definitely going to have to patch these up. Okay, I'm just, you know what? No. Attack with it. Hey, Brettmore. Nice. Painting some minis. Awesome. Which ones you got tonight? I already got things in my eye. Helpful. I keep 
already smacking the mic. That's that's a good start. That's always a good start. So I spent most of the day learning how to play the video game Hades, which is really dope. Special thanks to chat mod RPD234 for getting me that for Christmas. Absolutely super enjoying it. Yeah, I definitely am glad I switched to a smaller brush here. I have some D&D hags, and I'm working on some Hero Forge minis. I Ooh, very spicy. I like that. Um, the other day on Zack Sucks at Games, we were playing uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Can you tell I'm a Batman fan? Um, and our friend Forgies popped in the chat and said he uh, just got the materials for a... Um, oh my god. Okay, these guys are super in the way. Um for a RetroPie and is 3D printing a N64 body for it, which uh, our occasional collaborator here on the show, uh, Adam, is going to paint for him. Occasional collaborator. Adam's really the one who encouraged me to do this show. Um, Adam painted Hulk today. He posted that to his Discord. Looked really good. Those are the uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol minis that I have a bunch and I will get to at some point. Um, at some point I'll be completely DC Comics'd out and we'll have to call for a change. Um, which will be good. For now, I added the the Crisis Protocol minis to my uh, Amazon wish list. Um, just like, oh, here's a smattering of Crisis Protocol minis that I would not object to having, but I'm probably not going to buy for myself because I've got so many DC minis that need to be done. <laughs> Okay, so for these guys with crowbar or batons, I think I might be able to go with a bigger brush because this is taking forever. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, that's much faster. Get that coverage. It's a base coat. We don't need to worry about perfection. What is perfection anyway? So uh, at the top of the show, I kick things off a little bit differently. Uh, instead of saying the Adjacent Hex podcast, which is currently on hiatus and has been for quite a long time, uh, I was able to finally say that, yes, I am a member of the This Is Difficult podcast um, starting this week, officially. Well, I mean, I've been on the last couple of weeks, but um, I'm an official like full bore host starting this week. I have not looked at Chamali's notes to know what we're talking about yet. But, hey, Broody. There you are. Had a feeling you might be popping by. Riddler thugs tonight, my dude.
Okay, yeah, that looks better. Definitely gonna have some uh, repairs to, you know, adjustments to do on that question mark, but we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. So there's the two different varieties of Riddler Thug. Yeah, that's all right, man. Don't worry about it. I said, uh, I, yeah, Riddler's Riddler Riddler is also my favorite. I I love the puzzles that he puts together and all that stuff. And I'm doing a very like pseudo Frank Gorshin sort of thing with them. Um, well. Oh, I just put that brush on completely the wrong side of the table. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the the little guys first, or the the gun guys first, just because the um, the question mark is a little bit less uh, material that needs to be painted, um, and I've got the small brush behind my ear. So go ahead and just do that real quick. Had a great recording session with uh, with Trevor yesterday for a thing we're working on. Can't wait to talk more about that. A little Sentinel Comics related bit of business. At least to start with. It'll be more than that for a while, but... We're starting with what we know, and that is Sentinel Comics. On This Is Difficult last week, we did our Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary special. No see, I can't share the secrets just yet, Rudy. Well, you know what's going- you know what it is! I think. Pretty sure I told you what it is. I, I'll, I'll text you later. I can, I can message you right now. Hold on. Actually, let me finish this last question mark and I'll message you. Because <laughs> actually, I, I'm going to need your help with some stuff that's on it at some point. Before it, before it happens. Before it goes live. We mentioned you on this this week's recording, actually. Oh no, we didn't. I didn't mention you on the recording because it's that's that's another thing that we can't talk about. <laughs> all right, I got those question marks all set. So give me give me two seconds. Um. There, I texted you in Discord. Okay. Little question marks are done. Let's do the big guys. Dudes with batons. So what I'm doing here, at least my organization, is I've got my two proof of concept models up ahead. And then I'm painting sort of above them. Um, and it's just something I'm trying. So, hold on. So I was chatting with Christopher about a question for the 
RPG Letters page special, uh, essentially showcasing the ability to create the same character multiple ways. So as an exercise, I sent a question with a hero name and was asking for a quick build with an archetype, power, course, etc. Nice. Oh, that'll be cool. I don't know. Just like in the form recording format time, I don't know if they'll be able to get to that. But like tra Trevor and I tried to go down. We tried to break down an entire character. Uh, on our show yesterday, and I'm trying to be as vague as possible here. Um, there's a lot of information there. I came up with the name Stopgap, and Casey and Typefire 80 came up with the name. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw that. I was okay, I didn't know that was you, or that was you doing a thing. I pay so little attention to that Discord um, because it's just it's it moves faster than any other Discord that I'm part of, so it's harder to keep track of. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. All of these guys are wearing, like, old-school turtlenecks. So these models are going to be, like, an odd fusion point between the old 1960s, like, very campy stuff and a more modern like well modern age look Christopher pretty much said that if it was a name or an idea they were working on just they just would bring up the question yeah that's fair would not bring up the question no gotcha think of anything else monumentally interesting happened this week and uh, really the only other thing that I did was I played Majora's Mask a ton. That is a very fun game. I would now put it in my top five Zelda games of all time. But prior to that, I hadn't played it, so... I think a lot of people get down on the changes that were made for the 3D version, but... Uh, Majora's Mask. Sorry. I really like what it does thematically, and um, once I got over the my initial aversion to resetting time, because I really don't like doing that, um, that, that mechanic just stresses me out. 
Um, it became really fun. I was very happy with it. Yeah. No, it's really good. I played the uh, the Nintendo 3DS version because that's what I had. Um, and I yelled at it a lot. I... So, Broody, I would say tell Casey to watch last week's This Is Difficult because we made some very bold predictions about both of those games. <laughs> They are some of ours, some of our favorites as well. I have not played Skyward Sword. I was not playing video games when that one was out. Um, I was on a weird break point for video games. I had a, an interesting experience um, with, let's just say, an interesting social experience my sophomore year of college that sort of turned me off video games completely for a while. Um, and oddly enough, it was an out-of-game experience. And also, I didn't have any money, so I didn't have any game console. I barely had a computer. So... I got back into gaming when I graduated college, very limitedly, uh, again, just like hesitation, general hesitation, um, but yeah, Link's Awakening is, is I mean, it, it, that is bar none my favorite Zelda game. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things that like... Right now, I'm very much playing games because I'm on a video gaming podcast. Like, I kind of have to. But, you know, it's... Burning. My wife's not cooking again. I thought she went to bed. I would feel bad if she was cooking. Um... My wife is an amazing cook, don't get me wrong. She's very, very good at it. We had leek and potato soup and homemade sourdough bread tonight, and it was very good. Oh, gosh. These shoulders, man. Throw me off. That's better on that one. Alrighty. Much better. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, games are great and they're always there for you. It's kind of it's kind of like miniatures painting in that way. You know, I I painted I painted these guys probably five years ago, and they've just been sitting on my desk ever since. But now I've got this giant box of Batman miniatures, so my dark elves don't get touched. And I'm okay with that. Alright, um... A few years ago, my best friend and I bought Switches so that we could stay connected long distance. We've definitely made use of that, which has been a great time to give Yeah, I hear that. Like, once couch co-op kind of died, like, I played Super Mario Galaxy with my roommate Scott, um, but I was just like, I was just keeping an eye on the walkthrough and picking up star bits for him. Like I wasn't, and, and doing my homework. Like <laughs> that was just that was my focus and and filmmaking. You know that's what I was studying, and we were having a great time. But 
and it was it was social, but he was playing. Like I didn't feel like I was playing at all, and so I was still like abreast of video games, and I knew what was going on. But, um, you know, that's all it was. Um, so that technique that we tried last week with the pants uh, worked incredibly well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Um, I might try a different pant color. So I might use Nolan Oil instead of Draconoff Nightshade, or I could even use Colia Green Shade because to go with like the green theme. Um, I kind of want to try it, but do I have? I'm wondering if I have just like a random bit of prime something or other that I can try. I don't think so, not within reach. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. No, doesn't seem that way. Yeah, Couch Co-op was great. I liked Couch Co-op. Oh, what, what did I do with my paintbrush? Oh, I put it away. Learning and growing. Okay, regardless, I have to do the white, uh, the light gray base coat for their jeans. Um, uh, yeah. With the, like baggy cargo pants. I'm gonna go back and hit some small details in a minute, but I wanna get like the gross color layer done. These guys almost look almost look good with just white pants. But I think I want them to be a little more gritty than that. Do I ever use an airbrush? I do not. Uh, I've never really figured it out. Also, again, money. Uh, I'm a teacher. I don't have much. So I, and I can't get that at the store um, on my store credit. Uh, Broody does. And so if you wait till next week when he's back, airbrush questions are kind of his jam. Or actually, he's in the chat, so I mean, you can certainly ask now. Just makes for more interesting uh, archival purposes when, uh, when he can say it live. like that. Obviously it's gonna need some ink, but I like what I like what that's I like what that's going for.
Yeah, I've definitely, I've like, I've looked at them at um, Michael's and stuff, but I can never justify the cost because... Because I, I, I feel like I would ruin way too many models trying to learn how to use it. And it would bug me. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I think that's what my friend Joff uses it for, too. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't paint all that many big things. And when I do, it's because I'm sick of painting small things. And I need to remind myself that there are worse things. So, like, I'm working. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, it's literally right behind the curtain. I've been slowly working on this foolish Doomquake mortar for like two years now because there's just so many giant areas of paint that I need to put down. Oh, dread quick mortar, I guess. The baboon also uses one uh, quite a lot. He, he loves it. Once again, because of everything going on in the world, I can't get over to the baboon's place to, to have him show me how it works. Oh, nice. Trying to get paint into all these gaps is driving me crazy. Which I probably don't need to do, because the ink will take care of most of that, but like... Ugh. music is making me feel like I should be painting Joker dudes. I was going to try and grab the Red Quake Mortar, but no, it is just beyond my reach. It's, it's, it's a huge nuisance, because it's like four base colors. It's like a silver, a bronze, a red, and a black. And trying to get those all to line up is just a nuisance. And trying to, like, improvise my way through what goes where. Because there's no good drawings or good illustrations of what I would like it to be on the internet.
Sorry. I'm gonna make sure my brush is adequately dry here. I'm also looking up... I'm looking up the Dreadquake Mortar, because now it's bugging me. What do I teach? I teach technology um, at a kindergarten through middle school level. Which is a lot of um, like pre-engineering stuff, uh, but I also like I'm I have to teach creativity, which is really cool. Um, I actually spent a lot of time this week. No RPD, it seems. I think he's doing family stuff today. Um, I do yeah. So like I actually spent a lot of time this week doing professional development work um, on creativity and how to effectively teach that. Oh my god, I'm way off. Um, so that's been really fun. Obviously, like, I'm playing video games while I do it, because otherwise I'll lose my mind, but... Um, watching videos. You know, doing professional development in a time where the world is shut uh, is, is very tedious. But... Gotta be, gotta be get done what's what needs to be done and uh fortunately my administration is generally very uh accepting of kind of anything that i want to do so even like to some extent i'm going to try and argue that the research and development work that i do to make these streams happen um it should be viable professional development because i teach filmmaking and video video work So we'll see. And I actually have a couple of kids interested in doing live streaming work for like basketball games and stuff like that, which is going to be really cool. My, t my official title is Technology Integrator, uh, which means my, my, my job has a lot to do with getting, um, thank you, um, getting other teachers to effectively use technology and, uh, and work with that. So I'm often in the social studies classroom with, he's a very tech forward, um, teacher there, uh, the English teacher and I are getting along really well. He's new this year, but, um. I really like him. I think he's a good guy. And um, he's very high energy, much like myself, at least in the classroom. Uh, I was telling some of the students just before we left on the break that like what they see in the classroom is very different. And incidentally, what you all see on stream is very different than what I'm like in person. And and the, the people who I stream regularly with, Broody, Chamali, Westy, etc., will tell you that I'm much, I, I'm not, not very intro, or not very extroverted. I, I am pretty quiet most of the time. Like I can turn it on in short bursts and then I have to like recharge. Um, but because I'm streaming about things that I'm passionate about, 
uh, it's it's a little bit easier for me to handle that. Also, I'm you know in the comfort of my own office at home. But these guys have seen me like at you know at conventions after <laughs> after the show. I'm just like I'm a blob. There's a great picture that that Jacqueline took um, after I think it was after Gen Con last year. Uh, well, the last Gen Con that happened. Uh, where I was just like completely wiped out, and she completely blindsided me with a with a selfie, and I just looked. I was like, like, why is this camera? What what is this camera? And why is it in my face? Um, but the students, you know, the students see me at high energy level. Um. Which is why it's very difficult for me to stream during the week. Like, I do it. I do, Thursday nights, I, you know, Zack Sucker Games and, and Gear Up. Um, because I'm just, by the time I get home, I'm just completely done. I, I have nothing left. Which is, I maintain a good thing. Like, if I'm leaving it all in the classroom, then I'm doing my job. Um, recently, so for Christmas, my mother-in-law got me uh, DVD copies of Welcome Back, Cotter. Uh, and Gabe, Gabe Cotter... Gabe Kaplan is one of my teaching influences. Like I, I love the way that he handles the sweat hogs and sort of encourages them to do the very best that they can in completely unorthodox ways. Uh, and that's exactly what I do with my students. Like sweat hog or not, and uh, believe me, I do have some sweat hog students. Uh, I won't name any names, but you know, I, every teacher does, right? Like there, there's always, yeah, the, the energy is 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 so important and. That's what gets kids to do the best work, I think. At, at its heart, any educator is an entertainer, like we are. All right, so I'm gonna make some darker jeans by using uh, Mechanica Standard Gray on the, the black shirted individuals. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, shoot, I missed a bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Oh God! I <laughs> just smacked the mic right out of my face. <laughs> Whoops! I'm always a little paranoid when I do that because one time I smacked it to the point where it turned off. Yes, the energy energy is is key. And uh, I know a lot of teachers who don't have that same energy level, and it's it shows. You know, the kids want to be there less. Not that they don't want to be there, because believe me, our students do want to be there. I'm tremendously blessed with students who genuinely want to be in school. Um, oh dear, what have I done? I got paint all over my hand, which is mostly gone. And there it is. And I don't know where it came from. <laughs> That's always concerning. All right, we're going to see if this works. Uh, I make no promises, but we'll see. I think it'll work fine. And they're just going to look like they have darker pants. And I am probably use the, the green shade on these. Oh, geez. Okay. I think it's gonna look pretty dope.
God, I love this music. My document camera's lagging behind a little bit. Yeah, it is. That's all right. adequate coverage for that dude. Man, I'm liking these. What color are their shirts going to be? Uh, they're going to be black. So the guns are going to have black shirts, the uh, pipes or batons are going to have green shirts. I thought briefly about purple, uh, but I was like, no, nah, that's too, too joker. We'll let the Riddler's tie be the, the purple that stands out here. Well, you know what I probably should do while I have Mechanica Standard out is do the bases. Bleh. And it'll go quick, but... Still boy. Yeah, I I thought I I definitely thought about that. Um, but all the pictures I'm seeing have them with the black and green color scheme, so I'm going with that. I I love. I know that the purple color scheme exists. I know it's very well loved. Um, but I just. I don't know. I decided against it. I'll save the purple for the Joker. And the Riddler himself. All right, all right. I'll paint the bases. I'm like, I don't know how many scenarios there are with both Riddler and Joker in play. I can't imagine very many. But in the off chance that there is one. I don't know how my... I mean, what's a Gotham without ducks being in a row? Tried to force an FP reference there and it didn't work. I apologize. I feel bad for that.
Yeah, that would be Penguin's area of expertise, that's that's for sure. I know I know a lot of people love Danny DeVito's penguin, but I gotta say Burgess Meredith was the penguin. Like, oh my goodness. Penguin, of course, famous in some respects for his uh, somewhat bird-like utterances. Um, one of said utterances is spelled in comics the same way that one of my buddies spells his last name. I always give him crap about that. And nothing against Danny DeVito's Penguin. Like, I, I love Danny DeVito. I think he's great. Um, like, holy moly, Frank Reynolds. But, um, and, you know, Matilda's dad. Like, he's super good in that role, too. And directing that movie. Um, but, I just, like, Burgess Meredith is so good. Um, for Secret Santa this year... Speedy Olrak gave me Blu-ray of the uh, Batman and Robin uh, short, or like made for TV, made for DVD movie. I don't know what it was um, that came out a couple of years ago before Adam West passed away. Um, and that was that was a very cool gift. I was very excited about it. He also gave me a uh, Mega Man E Tank coffee mug, which I am very excited about. Probably going to use tomorrow morning. Yes, that's going to be very interesting. Although, have you heard the the latest drama uh, uh, from the set? Like, I guess the director is like horrifically overworking them. Like 50, 60 takes of different things. Like, of action scenes. Oh, animated Cape Crusader movie. Oh, my bad. Wait, what? Oh, we're t okay. Brody, <laughs> Brody, you're bouncing around. Yes, yeah, the animated Cape Crusader movie. That's that's the one that Speedy got me. But yeah, um, I'm confused. Oh, okay. So the chat is behind. Okay, I gotta. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm all over the place today. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, Pattinson is not very happy right now, according to, well, I mean, that's also according to questionably reliable news sources. Dude, I loved Mr. Freeze, the Mr. Freeze movie. I really do. Gotcha. You're good, Brittany. Don't worry about it. Like, as a filmmaker, that movie is objectively bad. In so many ways. But I still love it. I can't help myself. Right? Aren't they funny? Yeah, 
Yeah, there, there are definitely, there are just bits of that movie that I utterly adore. Oh, cool. That's that's fantastic. That's really cool. The only thing I can come close to that, um, my friend's uncle was one of the stunt driving coordinators on the Italian job. And had it not been for my mother, uh, would have taught uh, taught us how to do like the stunt driving stuff. Uh, when we were younger. But my mother, who knows me all too well, definitely put a stop to that before before that began. <laughs> That's really cool, Brody. I'm going to get the rest of these bases done real quick because I've gotten this Mechanicus standard out. This doesn't have to be perfect because it is tarmac, broken tarmac after all. Oh, wow. That's cool. Wait, Looney Tunes? They have miniatures for Looney Tunes? Or was he just being a producer for, or something?
I'm making a mess. Control here. Like it's working, just not the way I want it to. for basing. And then I guess we'll move on to flesh. I'm actually going to go through the app and find a couple of different flesh tones to do so they don't all look exactly the same. Rackarth Flesh! The lighter skin here. These guys also have domino masks on. It's really hard to see, but I'm going to try and get that.
Oops. Oh boy. This is going poorly. I have to do one off camera so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try it. Hold on. Have a good night, Broody. I think I did it. That looks reasonable. Yeah, man. Oh, shoot. You know what? His hands. I've done a stupid. Too.
Oops. There's one. That is definitely a royal pain. Um. Hey, RPD's here. What's going on, my dude? We're doing Riddler Thugs tonight. And they are definitely trying their damnedest to be very difficult. <laughs> They've got domino masks on, which is just absolutely driving me up a wall. <laughs> Flash. There it is. So I'm gonna have like four pots of paint open right now, and I'm not very happy about it. I, I usually try to keep it to one, but we're going we're going improvisational here. I'm trying to do some varying flesh tones here. <laughs> yep, we've moved from thug with crowbar to thug with question mark and stick. Or thug with stick. Thug, thug with stick? Yeah, there, there you go. I like it. I'll have to put that one in the video description uh, when I export it to YouTube. Which actually seems like as good a time as any to say, yes, all of these watching paint dry episodes and more on the Another Letdown YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Another Letdown CF. You can see all the miniatures that Broody and I have done, as well as a few that Adam have done. Adam has done? Adam have done? What is, what is words? Um... Oh my god. Speaking of Adam, am I using a wet palette? No. Still not good as the 
console Batman Forever where every thug is named a random word from the dictionary. I forgot about that, RPD. Although I'm sure Adam's gonna have to know all about that pretty soon if, if the plan is still to stream the entire catalog of superhero games. They were named out on the Game Boy too. I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. He's fine. We're all fine here now. Right, let's look up another another flesh color. What do we got? Uh, medium flesh. Okay. Bugman's Glow, let's go. If you're okay with using MAME, I might have some more games to add to the- oh boy. I think that's the last thing Adam needs right now. That list is a mile long. Or more. Here we go. RPD. <laughs> Dude. That, anyway, the, the list is, is Nutter Butters. That's so many hours of gameplay, like, oh my goodness. I started it on uh, Arkham Asylum the other day. God, that game is fun. It's so simple compared to the others, but there's something there's something nice about that. I had to install City and make sure that works also because Asylum didn't work the first time. Catch that on the replay. And also, oh my god, Hades is so good. <laughs> Thank you, RPD, for, for picking that up for me, and Adam for twisting my arm to get me to play it. Since you two both happen to be in the chat right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I didn't play it in 2020, so I can't claim that was my 2020 game of the year. But if, if I had, oh my goodness, yeah. Like, I literally just started it today. <laughs> My wife was doing a bunch of stuff around the house, and I was like, oh, this it's probably a lot easier for her if I'm just scarce. I'm gonna go play Hades, and I was playing right up until the time I went live here! Because it's one of those games that, like, you set a micro goal for yourself, and you're like, okay, yeah, I'll just play until I, until I accomplish this little thing. And then you're like, 
Oh wait, it's two and a half hours after I accomplished that little thing. One more run, yeah, exactly. I was trying to explain it to my wife at dinner. It's like, you don't necessarily get a little further every time, but you definitely feel like you do. I can't wait to talk about it briefly on the podcast tomorrow. before Paul gushes about Onimusha which admittedly also awesome also very awesome and even trying to even trying will give you the greatest word of all dialogue yeah exactly there's an unbelievable amount of dialogue in that game recorded dialogue I would say I should say that guy done. I'm going to do one more in that that flesh tone also. Because well, at least I think I am. Check the app one last time. Just see if there's a fourth flesh color that I can use that I have, but I don't think there is. Oh god. Eel flesh? That's disgusting. Just gonna ugh. Ugh. There's some disgusting flesh colors in that app. Well, that's good to hear, RPD. Made it across the pond, huh? We made uh, a character for my niece the other day. It was very cool. We were very excited about this character. She is a lone wolf who does, like, stealth electricity stuff. She makes, uh doppelgangers made of pure electricity and uses them to conceal her actual whereabouts. And we call her Blink. Or she calls herself Blink. I should say. And this is, this is my niece's first foray into the world of RPGs so and she's very excited she will be playing alongside one of my students whose mother is a, a good friend of mine co-worker as well um, it's gonna be very fun we're very excited and I'm sure you will all hear more about those characters over time don't know how that could possibly be a thing spoilers um yeah yeah adam how was painting the incredible hulk like oh my goodness that came out so well
very unforgiving. Yeah, I believe it. Big models, man. Like, you saw how, how the Brutality Minis, like, drove me crazy. Because they're so big, and the smallest mistake just sh sticks out like a sore thumb. Whoa, whoops. Speaking of mistakes, there we go. Fixed. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Just different shades of green, or...? Three purples, eight greens. Oh my god. Again, really doesn't surprise me, but my golly. That's fantastic, dude. It came out great, like, really well done. I, I can't wait to do it myself. Uh, I don't have one yet, but soon. All right, so we're going to do two... Rackarth Flesh, one Bugman's Glow, and one... Catachin Flesh on the next wave here. We got black shirted thugs with guns. Take a sip of water. It's right there. Before my voice completely shoots itself in the foot. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think I think I mentioned this too, but um, my approach to Crisis Protocol has been just like, oh, there's a couple that I will buy. Like we were talking about this this morning about Power Man and Iron Fist. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those because I actually give a rat's to maker about those about those characters. But uh, others, I'm just like, yeah, these are on my Amazon wish list. Get them for me if you want me to paint something cool, and I will happily do that. You have MODOK? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, no, that's right, yeah. Yeah, there's there's only a couple that I that I don't want. Um, but like there's so many miniatures that I have to paint right now that I'm just like, eh. If someone else wants to get them for me, that's fine. Because, I mean, I, you think about the sheer volume of Batman stuff. Yeah, I definitely don't care about the Black Order. Miles and Gwen are like, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I think you and I kind of care about the same ones, by and large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me real Falcon. And Redbird. I care less about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but like I will definitely happily paint them. Oh, that's that's something I hadn't thought of. Yeah, you're right. Why is this why is there a paint can lying on my keyboard?
Oh, did you? That's sick. I guess I need that, but... I think I, I think I mentioned my sister-in-law was like, uh, there's a bunch of these. I don't know which ones to get you. Here's a gift card instead. And I bought an 8-bit toe controller with it. But I did get paid yesterday. So I might I might go ahead and order a couple. I was saying at the top of the stream that uh Eventually, I'm going to need some, some Marvel to break up the DC monotony. I'm a bit underwhelmed with the She-Hulk figure. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very fair. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not in any way, shape, or form what people like about She-Hulk. And it concerns me, like, I hope that's not what Disney does to her in the show. And I, I'm pretty worried about that. I also... what. RPD, you have no idea how many thugs with crowbars I'm going to have to do. Yeah, me either. I think, I think it has peaked. But... Like there's still there's still some good stuff out there. There's a little bit. I really, really hope that all the rumors are true about Spider-Man because I really want Daredevil to show up. <laughs> I don't care about Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield. I just want it. I just want uh, Charlie Cox back. <laughs> Although, like, I can't help but get excited about the prospect of. Yes, that's a good point, RPD. I can't help but get excited about the prospect of Emma Stone as Spider-Gwen. Like, that's kind of cool. I really liked... I, I prefer... I, I, I know I'm going to prefer What's-Her-Face from Into the Spider-Verse because that's cool, but... Yep. Yeah, I, there's, there's a lot of things to worry about, but as RPD says, like, there's always room, and I will always leave room in my heart to be pleasantly surprised.
Oh, God. That one concerns me. Possibly more than the others. I've said it how many times? As many times, and I will say it again, where's yours? One? Adam, you saw that I finished uh, Majora's Mask. Yes? Chavez was cool, at least at first when she was Miss America. Yeah. A lot of these characters, like, had some potential at one point, and then just, like, bad writing and commercialization just borked them into the ground. I have already draped myself in a flag for when the trailer's poorly received. Oh, why is this so gummy? Ghostbusters 2016. Yeah. to make a good movie if you can call people bigots for not seeing it. Yeah. Oh boy. There are eight. Mm. 
And this is not working. My Rackarth flesh is all gummy and gross. Oops, making a mess. <laughs> A Minotaur? Why a Minotaur? To paint is the robot Minotaur for Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully ink fixes a lot of this because I am very upset with Rackarth Flesh right now. I think it will, but yuck. Yep, that is going away. Rackarth Flesh is retired for the night. We'll bring back Catachin Flesh. Bugman's Glow, whatever I find first. I guess it's Bugman's Glow because it's literally right in front of me. No. I'm going to find Caddish and Flesh. I mean, I have a, a Bones Minotaur, but like, I think that's probably too big. I'm assuming you want it to be roughly man size. Usually too small? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, you probably you probably would work. I'll see if I can find the SKU number for you. We don't carry bones anymore at the store uh, because of all the Nolzers. Stuff just being generally better quality. Two, excuse me. Tried to mute my mic there and didn't get didn't quite get there in time. Yeah, there, there is a Nolzer's Minotaur, uh, Minotaur. That's that is true. We don't carry bones anymore after we have to silence someone from asking where we got those human remains. Oh my God, RPD, dude.
Making it worse is the company that makes bones. It's called Reaper. All right, hair next. But I think a lot of them are just gonna have black hair because that makes some amount of sense some of them will have brown as well so like this guy who currently looks like Frankenstein it's gonna have light brown hair That's so cool. That'll be a super easy paint job, too. Oh my goodness, that's... I forgot how cool that thing was. <laughs> what do I have for light brown base coat? Dry bark will work. Oh, really? Dude, hero clicks were so all over the place. Some of them were way too small and others were way too big. And then there was Galactus. That one, that mi mini was insane. I think I got a few for the, I need new pots of these. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diamond Direct Watcher, yeah. to restock my base coats. Rackarth, Flesh, Steel Legion, Drab, and Dryad Bark are all dead. And here I am foolishly trying to paint with them. <laughs> Literally all three. This is a nightmare. This particular model may end up in the brake fluid. We'll see how much I can salvage. I just put my thumb in it. 
Boy. Yes, brake fluid is is my paint stripper of choice. In general. Let's have you. Sure. One thing brown, where are you? There it is. It's probably another one I need to replace. Mm, no, this one's still good. This one might be too watery. Definitely is. We're gonna make do. Boy, this just isn't sticking anywhere. All right, hold on. By a large margin. Um, yeah, okay, cool. What's this? That's the rack rack flush that I'm sick of. guys. They're generally younger, right? <laughs> we'll do a couple more with this awful Steel Legion drab. Not that guy. Oh, how did I do Baird's hair? That was cool. I want to, oh, that was Rackarth Flesh too, wasn't it? Gosh darn it! Ugh, all right, fine. We will uh, suffer these one last time. And once again, I think there's too much water in the brush. Oh, well, maybe not. Focus! Dingleberry? No! Not on the... Oh my god, camera. On the miniature, not on the napkin! Okay, I guess it's fine.
Yeah, sorry, cool. Um, this guy definitely needs lighter hair as well. I guess we'll continue using the Steel Agent Drab. Since it's here, So if not Marvel, then what are we looking forward to cinematically? In the next few years. I mean, it's not to say we're not, you know, we're completely writing off Marvel. I think it's far too early to do that, but... Nothing. Yeah, right? I was talking to... So Broody was here earlier uh in the chat adam and um we were talking about how there's a lot of turmoil yeah that's that's very fair uh there's a lot of turmoil on the batman set these days i think i i mean having kind of like no big releases this past year i'm just gonna say it was like actually kind of cool it let me focus on other stuff like, I didn't feel like I had to be out there watching constantly. Like, I'm excited for FP3. <laughs> like, All right. Sounds good. Can't wait, Brett Moore. Thank you for stopping by. All right, um, I gotta do boots, and I gotta do pants, and I gotta do weapons. Boots, pants, and weapons, and then ink, and then we're out of here. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. It was it was very nice in that regard. Um, What do you think, Adam? Black combat boots for, for these guys? It's kind of what I'm leaning toward at the moment. Oh, I gotta do a little bit of detail with black. Okay, cool. So that's one last thing I have to do. Um, I mean, other than... I wanted to patch up their uh, belts a little bit before I with a fine detail brush. Cuz I'll do I'll do black after I do inking. Um Cuz it'll just look a little nicer. down. Forgot to do this earlier.
music is suddenly very ominous. RPD says, no, I'm not done being hype, it's just the world is just about done giving me movies I can be hype about. Then again, I'm me, so take that value of statement as you will. I think you're with me on the FP3 uh, hype train. If I'm not gravely mistaken, RPD. RPD. Yeah, right? And Jatro has plot outlines done for... He was posting the other day, he said he has plot outlines done through FP11. Which I'm... And FP... I think FP5 is going to be a Christmas special. Or at least we were trying to convince him to do that. I'm not over the moon about that, but all right. It is what it is, I guess. A little more dark gray for these guys. For the same purpose. Of future FP things, I might have to talk to you about. We're, how, how are we going to do that other future FP? Oh God! So the guy I was working on with that with uh, bagged out, and I honestly kind of just don't care anymore. It's, it might be something like when I have more time, I can pick up and do something with again, RPD. But like right now, I just I've got too much on my plate. It's still something I'd I'd like to see done, but it just you know, too many other things, too many other pots on burners, if you will. That I can accomplish more easily, accomplish stuff with. between picking up Colin's host spot on This Is Difficult and uh, doing things, with th working on a thing with Trevor and doing this and other such nonsense. There's only so much time, you know?
quite honestly, when I said I would do that project, um, FP Fest had been raging for three days. <laughs> and many, many, many beers were consumed. Last one. For this bit. Weapons slash tools, which are mostly going to be black. <laughs> a little bit of gunmetal here and there. That is lead belcher. Should we do? We have it on black first. Clean up any mistakes. Oh dear. This one's in a rough way too. Tonsmen that have mistakes on them, the guns. Okay. Oh boy. I was gonna suggest a way to prototype the process that would actually work. Um yeah, I mean if if you got ideas, RPD, by all means go ahead. But like I said, I'm just I'm burnt out right now. on that. Okay. Oh boy. Jumping minis. Two. By that I mean I've been joking about adapting Forgotten Beat or Verse. And I forget figured nice. up the question marks here.
figured that process that would cause some insight. Yeah, that's fair. I can do this much quicker if I just do this off camera, so give me a second. I can literally do it in one brush stroke. of this guy who's being slightly less cooperative. Okay. Those guys are good to go. Granted, unlike the FP verse, the VCR verse is all over the place given it's a mess of random clips of connect. Yeah, that okay, fair. Alright. One last look, but I think these guys are ready for anything. seems that way. Alright, so I think the way I want to do this, the guys with the lighter pants are going to get null and oil, and the guys with the darker pants are going to get green shade. I think that's going to work. So let's give this a shot. Fingers are crossed. Wash brush time. Jumping in. Oh, for God's sakes. That's a good start. No, no oil pot doesn't want to stay open. Come on. Work for me now. Ha! Yeah, I do believe this is going to work. question is, do I use green? Yeah, I think I use green shade over the sweater. So we'll do that in just a second. carved a ton of wrinkles into the sculpt, which is kind of nuts. The V 
VCR versus made out of Godfrey Ho ninja movies themselves made of other movies welded together in martial arts movies and other Asian fantasy movies wrestling took tokusatsu shows and is all tied together with an idol singer from the 80s who was our main music researcher basically has a giant conspiracy to string board about thinking I should have gotten darker on these pants, but it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'll dry brush them darker and I think it'll be okay. Jeepers. A little too much on there, I think. It's alright. We can get it back. Cause that's going to end up being Agrax Earthshade anyway. There's those thugs done. Moving on to the next one. Next wave. It's going to be green shade. If I can find it. There's one. But I also have a Sony and camo shade, which I think could be kind of fun here. What's this? Oh, Xandri dust. Not like I wasn't looking at that earlier. Yeah, camo shade. All right, I'm gonna do, try and do two different shades of green here. This could this could be my undoing. We're gonna see what happens. We'll start with the one that I don't have too much faith in, which. I think I was right to say. Eh, it's all right. It comes out better on camera than it does in real life, but that's fine. Yeah, okay. That looks all right. I'm not disappointed by that. I am not disappointed by that at all. Do one more that way. Oh, Mr. I didn't want to cooperate. In the first place. I'm using quite a lot of ink on these to get the color tone, which I probably could achieve with contrast paint, but whatever. I only have like three contrast paints. <laughs> All right, 
There's two we're done with camo shade. We're gonna do two with green, green shade without punching my guitar behind the green screen. We are also going to do the sweaters. So we'll get those green shirt guys back up on here very shortly. Stand by for that. That is way more like turquoise than I thought, but that's fine. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna hit the question marks too. Oh, fart. I just stuffed my hand in it. It's fine though. Very little harm done and easily removed. After repeatedly dropping this model on my lap, those guys a little bit of the same on oh, these buggers on their shirts then we will do flesh shade and then earth shade and then we are done for the night Okay, I'm kind of loving this. Like that looks, oh, very goopy on camera, but in, in real life it looks good, I swear. Bit of a flow problem here. taken care of we're good some some of the green shade flowed off a guy's leg and down onto his base i'm like ah, no that's not where i wanted you
forgot what I was doing. down. one for this particular shade. Busting out flesh shade next. Which is another one that I need to stock up on because I'm running low. All right. Get out of here, Colia Green Shade. Two more left. Home stretch, people. Home stretch for now. I'm supposed to do I'm not Tobias Fune K RPG. I'm not that awkward. I hope. <laughs> I'm not saying you are. I'm implying the thug with stick who had paint running down his leg might be. Uh, he was. That was a thug with gun. But yes, he definitely might be. Okay, that looks. That guy's looking more like a human. And these darker skinned dudes, I don't know how much impact the, the flesh shade actually does on them, but we're going to go for it anyway. I guess it does have a little. Ow. Come on. I'm being a jerk. There we go. Again, I'm going to do the domino masks properly and uh, any black bits tomorrow when I hit them with dry brush stuff. I'm pretty happy with how these guys are coming out. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I wasn't... Oh, oh. Stop running down his leg. Oh, my God. 
That'll do. I can work with that. Agrax Earthshade will save the day. Science will save the day. Science, let's shout hooray! Doing science, doing science, doing science, making things and breaking things, doing science, doing science, making things and breaking things down. Sorry, the Aquabats, please don't sue me. sound that much like that, Commander. Although it might be Jimmy the Robot that sings on that song. I don't know. Man, this, this flesh shade really does work over the Rackarth flesh. Shade, and then we're done. Let's go. just did not want to cooperate. Pooling problems everywhere. Alright, so hair and bases. Adam, is that what you're, if you're still here, is that, is Earthshade what you're using for, um, the Crisis Protocol basis? Just Mechanicus Standard and Earthshade? Yeah, cool. That is a technique that I stole from you, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you, uh, piloting that so that I could use it. Thank you. Wolf Gray, sure. It's that that is, from what I understand, chromatically very similar to uh, Mechanicus Standard Gray. My boss wants me to pick up a couple of Reaper paints and try them out. I should. I don't think he's going to start carrying the line, but I think he wants to support it in some way. Just like be like, oh yeah, you know, this is the same as that, or this works similar to that, or you can do this with that. You know, just sort of be able to give better advice. But I keep telling myself, that's what I have you and Broody for. Yeah. 
repair base. I, I, that's kind of the impression that I've gotten so far, too. From, uh, from reading online and such. It's a little trick I picked up last time. You can dirty up their knees by just touching them a bit, touching the knees with a little bit of earth shade. Just ding, 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 ding. And it looks, makes them look pretty dope. I do the same thing with the dry brush. So it's just a little bit of earth shade, ding, ding, and then good to go. And you can do the same thing with the green guys. We actually do a little bit more. Makes them look a little a little muddy, a little kind of gross. Like they've been doing dirty work for for the Riddler. quite dry yet so this is gonna be interesting totally all right well I think that I'm gonna give my eyes a rest here <laughs> I'm looking at these guys just a little bit too long I think eight was maybe a little ambitious today uh, but we got them base coat ink wash all set ready to go uh, so we got Thug with stick and thug with gun, and those guys will dry overnight, and uh, and we'll see where we get where we go with them. I'm, I'm overall pretty happy. Um, you know, get them organized on my desk in an appropriate way so they can dry. Anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. I had a great time hanging out. Uh, we'll have Broody back next week. Hopefully, we'll get Adam back on the show at some point. Eh, eh. Um, and. Uh, I'm going to keep going with these Batman minis. They're super fun. Uh, so at least there's that. Um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in tonight. You can catch me tomorrow night on the Handle Arbor Games channel doing Tales from the Archive at 6, 630, somewhere in there. And then I will be on the ryugami san channel doing This Is Difficult podcast at 9 Eastern, I think. Um, and I will be back maybe with Alex, maybe just on my own. I, I think I just want to play Batman this week, but we'll see how the week shakes out. I'll be back right here on Thursday night. Um, take care, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye.